Hello, my name is Marcia Spink and I'm the Associate Director for Policy and Science in the Air Protection Division of EPA Region 3. This is Clean Air Act 101, Module 7 on Title 7 Enforcement. This training is brought to you by the Office of Air Quality Planning and Standards. Enforcement under the Clean Air Act. I'd like to refer you to Module 1 of this course, Clean Air 101. The Clean Air Act's provisions for enforcement are found in Title 1. Look especially to Sections 113 and 114. Now, Title 7 of the 1990 Amendments enhanced enforceability. It makes the Clean Air Act more easily enforceable and consistent with other environmental statutes, like the Clean Water Act and RECRA. A broad array of new enforcement authorities, from traffic tickets to criminal felonies, are provided to better match the penalty to the severity of the violation. In addition, Title VII of the Clean Air Act Amendments of 1990 provided that criminal violations were upgraded from misdemeanors to felonies consistent with other environmental statutes, and new criminal sanctions were added for knowing endangerment and negligent endangerment in connection with air toxics. Penalties. EPA may issue administrative penalty orders up to $200,000 and field citations for minor violations up to $5,000 rather than taking every violation to court. EPA may issue administrative subpoenas. Sources may challenge assessments in administrative hearings and in district court. The scope. The duration and scope of emergency orders were expanded. The authority to issue administrative compliance orders to sources was expanded to authorize schedules of up to one year. Restrictions. Definition of the terms operator and person, which immunized many potential violators in the past from enforcement, were restricted and better defined. With regard to citizen suits, these provisions were enhanced. Provisions were revised to allow courts to assess penalties as well as enjoin violations. The money will go to a special U.S. Treasury fund. That money may be designated for air compliance activities or mitigation projects. Citizen suit provisions also include that district courts are given jurisdiction over suits against EPA for unreasonable delay. Effective federal oversight of citizen suits is provided through additional notification requirements. Punishment. The ability to prove and adequately punish ongoing and recurring violations is strengthened because the burden of proof is on the defendant for the purpose of determining penalty liability once the government shows that a violation has occurred. Once a violation has been proven, any credible evidence is admissible to show that the violation continued. Contractors. The listing authority by which violators are barred from receiving government contracts, grants, and loans was revised so that all criminal convictions result in disbarment. That is the end of Module 7 of Clean Air Act 101. Again, I refer you also to Module 1 because basically Title 7 enhanced the provisions of Title 1 for enforcement under the Clean Air Act.